Beneath the dust buried in riverbeds and scattered across hillsides lies one of Earth's greatest deceptions. Rocks that appear dull, ordinary, and worthless until you look closer. Because sometimes the stones most people throw away are the very ones that could be worth thousands of dollars. Welcome to EGS, where we decode Earth's hidden treasures, one stone at a time. Today we're revealing how to recognize valuable minerals and gemstones disguised as worthless rocks. So next time you pick up a stone and think it's nothing special, remember this episode. It might just change the way you see the ground beneath your feet forever. At first glance, the world of rocks looks simple, gray, rough, uninteresting. But geology is full of disguises. Nature hides her most precious materials beneath layers of dust and disguise. Throughout history, miners, explorers, and even children have stumbled upon stones they thought were worthless, only to discover they were holding small fortunes. In nature, value rarely comes wrapped in beauty. It takes knowledge and a trained eye to see what others miss. So what kinds of worthless rocks can actually be worth money? Let's start with one of the most deceptive, quartz. To most people, quartz looks like clear or cloudy glass. You'll find it everywhere, in gravel, sand, and mountain streams. But quartz isn't just common, it's the foundation for countless gemstones like amethyst, citron, rose quartz, and smoky quartz. If you pick up a dull, cloudy rock that shines faintly in sunlight, look again. When cleaned and cut, even ordinary quartz can be shaped into jewelry-grade material worth hundreds of dollars. And if it shows purple hues, it might be low-grade amethyst. And higher-quality clusters can fetch serious money. Now picture yourself walking near an old volcanic area or riverbed. You notice a rock that glitters faintly in the sunlight. Metallic, golden, almost too good to be true. Most people would laugh and call it fool's gold. But here's the secret. Pyrite, while not real gold, is often found right next to it. If you're seeing that metallic sparkle, you may be standing near gold-bearing quartz veins. And sometimes what looks like pyrite is gold, just coated or mixed with iron sulfides. Even a few grams of gold trapped in quartz can be worth hundreds of dollars if extracted or polished as a specimen. Another underrated rock worth attention is agate, one of nature's most artistic creations. In the wild, agate doesn't shine like a diamond. It looks dull, waxy, sometimes even ugly. But slice it open, and you'll find swirling bands of color, red, orange, blue, or green, created over millions of years by flowing mineral-rich water. Collectors pay high prices for unique agate patterns, especially those with vivid rings or rare color transitions. Some forms of agate, like fire agate from Mexico or moss agate from India, can sell for thousands once polished. So if you see a rounded rock with faint stripes or patterns on its surface, don't toss it aside. It might be hiding beauty worth more than you imagine. Let's not forget opal, a gemstone born from ancient rainfall. In its raw form, opal looks like pale, chalky stone. But under the right light, it flashes with rainbows, a phenomenon called play of color. Most people mistake common opal for regular rock. But when it catches even a hint of blue or green light, that's a sign of potential value. High-quality opals from Australia can fetch upwards of $10,000 per carat, especially those with vibrant color movement. Even low-grade opal found in volcanic rock or clay can be shaped and sold as decorative stones. And then there's garnet, the overlooked ruby of the earth. Found in metamorphic rocks and old stream beds, garnet crystals are often small and dark. They can appear brownish, black, or deep red, blending easily with surrounding stones. But under light, they reveal a fiery brilliance. While common garnet isn't as expensive as diamonds, gem-grade specimens can sell for hundreds per carat, and industrial garnet, used in cutting tools and abrasives, is also in demand, turning seemingly worthless stones into valuable resources. Let's talk about something most people overlook completely fossilized rocks and petrified wood. They might seem worthless, just old, heavy chunks of stone. But petrified wood, especially colorful specimens with agatized textures, can sell for hundreds or even thousands when polished. Each piece captures an ancient tree transformed into stone over millions of years. 
Similarly, certain fossils, ammonites, trilobites, or coral preserved in limestone, can carry significant value, especially if well-preserved or large. So the next boring rock you kick aside on a hike might actually be a prehistoric treasure. Most valuable rocks don't look valuable at all because weathering dulls their colors and textures. Rain, dust, and time cover their true nature. That's why gemstone prospectors often use tools like a rock hammer, magnifying lens, and water spray bottle. A quick rinse can reveal the sparkle hidden beneath centuries of grime. If you ever spot a rock with unusual texture, veins, or color contrast, stop and inspect it. Sometimes all it takes is sunlight and a splash of water to uncover hidden brilliance. But value isn't just about beauty, it's also about rarity and demand. For instance, lithium-bearing minerals like spodumin and lepidolite may look dull and chalky, yet they're worth serious money in today's technology-driven world. These boring rocks fuel batteries for electric cars and smartphones, turning forgotten quarries into multi-million dollar mining sites. Even black rocks like hematite and magnetite, once ignored, are valuable sources of iron and used in jewelry and art for their metallic sheen. Every stone has a story, a geological journey from the depths of magma chambers or ancient seabeds to your hand. Understanding that story is how you unlock its worth. The difference between a worthless rock and a valuable gemstone isn't luck. It's awareness. Geologists often say, the earth hides nothing. We just fail to notice. Each crystal, vein, and pattern tells a part of Earth's autobiography. And those who learn to read it often find treasure where others see trash. So, the next time you're hiking, gardening, or walking along a dry creek bed, pay attention. That rough gray pebble in your hand could be a forgotten gemstone, a slice of ancient history, or even a key to untapped mineral wealth. Remember, fortune favors the observant. The earth is constantly offering clues in shimmer, color, and texture. And the people who take a second to look closer often find what others will never notice. In the end, the difference between worthless and valuable isn't the rock. It's the eye that sees it. So next time you pick up a dull stone, pause for a moment, because that worthless rock might not just be another piece of earth. It could be a hidden treasure waiting for someone curious enough to recognize it. This is EGS, where we turn ordinary stones into extraordinary stories. Stay curious, stay observant, and remember, the next rock you overlook could be worth thousands of dollars.